hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial today we are going to design something different and this is going to be how to design a burger flyer using adobe photoshop so without any further ado let's get started so the first thing now then go to your file and select new you can also use ctrl plus n on your keyboard so here i'm going to use 1080 by 1080 for social media posts because this design is about social media posts then click on a grid before then ensure that your resolution is 300 and also rgb color mode because this is for social media post all right so having come to this position now so the first thing we are going to do now then is going we are going to uh, bring in our resource file so the first thing we are going to bring is this one so i'm going to import this burger over here so the next thing now after importing the burger so now we are going to remove the background then go to your your selection tools then you select it and over here then you click on this select subject then select this your mask to remove the background something like this so having removed the background now then i'm going to i'm going to use my brush then make sure that you select the layer mask then and select your brush over here then select the soft brush so the soft brush is over here now then i will remove the black shadow over here just a little you can reduce the size of your brush just to remove the black shadow over there do it gently then remove the black shadow of this one something like this so it's not going to be much all right then right click and convert it to smart object okay having converted to smart object now so i'm going to first of all bring my background so go back to your resource file and over here import this texture scale it out okay it's okay like this then the next thing now i will duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then i will turn this one off so why i'm going to work on this one then reduce the size something like this and reduce the opacity 14 percent is okay so you can add it or reduce it more so i will position this one over here then you duplicate it again and i will position this one here you can rotate it any way you want it you can rotate it something like this then ctrl plus j to duplicate it then you can position this one over here then so continue like that to create a background
So now I will position that one over there. And these ones, I'm going to select them all. Hold your sheet key while you select. Then over here, I'm going to, to right click and click on merge to merge all of them as one. Then you can reduce the opacity so that the light will reduce. So something like this. Now that we have done something like this, so the next one I'm going to do now, then I'm going to create a cycle. Then select your ellipse tool, hold your shift key and draw a cycle. Then a cycle like this. Then now we drag it over here, then I'll position it here. Then reduce the size like this. Ctrl plus A to select all and apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect it. Now I'm going to double click to apply a color from this side. So this color is okay. Then the next one, I'm going to duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. And the over, over here, I'm going to apply red color. Then you drag this one down. So having done this one now, so the next thing we are going to do now is to bring our test. So and over here is the font I'm going to use in this tutorial. And the first one now, I'm going to make a copy of this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. You can press T on your keyboard to select test two. Then over here, I'm going to click and the control plus V to paste. Then bring it down and I will break it. Then reduce the size. Something like this. So why I will do this is because I don't have a particular logo for this tutorial. So then I'm using this as an example or as an example for you that, okay, this place, this is where you position your logo. Then after then, then we move to other tests. And I'm going to copy this one, Control plus, so Control plus C to copy. Then make a duplicate of this one, Control plus J to duplicate. Then I will bring this one over here at the center. Then select your test to highlight it, Ctrl plus V to paste. And increase the font size, something like this. So having done this one now, then I'm going to change the color to this color over here and go to your blending option to apply a stroke so already i have a red stroke so i'm going to make use of this red and as you can see here then the size is three and the opacity is 96 so you can reduce it or you can increase it so so i will leave it at 96 it's okay like this so having done this one so the next thing we are going to do then we are going to select our test tool again and make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste and on this one then change the font color to black then also we are going to change the test uh, font so the font we are going to use here is Arizona over here now then we are going to search for the font Arizona then you type it then as you can see this is the font so you select it and I'm going to increase the size of the font Then you position it like this. Okay. So on this one now, so the next thing we are going to do, then we are going to 
also then copy this one control plus c to copy then select your test tool control plus v to paste and at the back here i'm going to import food menu something like this and drag it back here then reduce the font size position it here then and the font we are going to use here is this now we are going to select the font then look for the font here so and over here is the font so i will change it then select all control plus a to select this text and apply vertical alignment control plus d to deselect now we are going to bring this character of uh, design which we create over here then i'm going to import this one reduce the size then position this one over here increase the size a little then now i'm going to double double click to open the smart object double click to bring out the blending option then apply color overlay and i will going to, i'm going to use this color over here then close it and click yes to apply it this is it so the other one again then is this one so i'm going to import this one reduce the size then take it over here and right click then flip it horizontal so that it will change the direction all right now double click to open the smart object double click to also then to bring out the blending option so on this time now then you are going to click on this color overlay to apply this color over here okay so if you want then you can also sorry remove it color overlay then also this color then make use of this color here so after this one now so the next thing then is to click ok now close it and click yes to save it so over here you can see it. so the next one now then we are going to import this design here then reduce the size then position it over here so on this one now then i'm going to shift this one over here so that i will allow this one to increase the size of this one a little then bring it over here now double click here then to open the layer style and apply so on this one now we are going to make use of red red then you can see the change there and click ok close it and apply yes to so over now i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j as you know to duplicate and i'm going to drag this one over here then now i'm going to select this one select this one and the food menu then use your arrow key then to drag it back over here now so this is the outcome of it as you can see so having done this one now so the next thing we are going to do now then go back to your your resource file then and bring this one reduce the size then position it at the top here then you click ok 
two then to make it more easy over here then i have placed every design so and i'm going to remove them from this position so this is where i have it so the first one i'm going to remove down then is this so the social media link so i will drag it over here and position it at the bottom here then i will leave this one over here so as you can see here then this place i arrange the number so what is about this place is for you to place your website over here then here is to place your page so like you can see here then i place a page like this so this is not complete so you can complete it so when you have something like this to do and as you can see so over here then i greeted it as you can see so this is website your contact and your page it could be any of your social media page then you place it over there so having done that one now so the next one we are going to do then is to bring this design here so i'm going to drag it and place it over here so having bring it here now so i'm going to drag these two down because this one is also among the background so i will place this one on top of this place now so as you can see then this one i will select this one something like this all right and what it contain in this design you can see here so these are these are these are the things it contain in the design so this is onions so this is tomatoes and you can see this in fact so already since i have created this one now so i'm going to remove this one over here this effect so since i have created it then i'm going to remove this one and this one so this is the uh, veggies so these are the veggies you can you are seeing over there so having import this one on the veggies and the other elements so then the next thing this also have um, a shadow so you can see this shadow over here so it has a shadow so when i turn it off then you can see on the screen then on and off so there is a black shadow around the edges all right the next one now then we are going back to this place and we will also import this discount then i will place the discount over here then turn it on so i will place the discount over here and this one i'm going to select this one over here Then I will position it somewhere around the end. Then go to your resource file. Then and as you can see, all the resources I use here are here. So you can make use of them over here. So the next one now I'm going to do now then is to make you bring this one so already that since that we have here this one now so there is no need of bringing this one now and this one you can see so it's also in the resource here so then we are going back to our burger so this is 
this is it then we are going to drag it up and place it at the top here then you bring it down position it somewhere here increase the size think it's okay like this I'm going back to this background then you select this background over here while you increase it like this is okay all right so having done this one like this so the next one now we are going to do then is to import this one you reduce the size it's okay and the other one is this reduce the size and position it somewhere here it's all right so now that we have placed all this one now so the next thing we are going to do now then we come under this burger and the other things that we have set here then go to then to create a new layer then select your brush then i'm going to make use of this soft brush then why i'm going to then reduce it like this so the one i make use of before is here so you can see what i did here then i will select it then you can see so this is the outcome and now this color here go to your four color here then and you switch it to black increase the size of the brush then and you click somewhere here you will have this black shadow then create another new layer so that you can have control over it and select here to create a shadow there then create another layer and now i'm going to reduce the size and over here i'm going to click on this one something like this and create a new layer again and over here then you increase the size and click to apply a shadow so we have a shadow behind it now then having control over it so you can use your arrow key then to move move the direction or to bring it down so you can reduce the opacity then also this one you can use your arrow key bring it down reduce the opacity if it is too dark so any hour you want it so then you can now have control over it uh, by grating each layers so now you can see the outcome of it so then we are going to our test here now then i'm going to select from here hold your shift key while you select it and i'm going to use the arrow key then to bring it down and the element is left over so the element i'm going to select it from here then down to this position also bring it down so that they will be they will follow along 
and the last one this one also select this one then bring it down that is it and over here are the resource tools that i use in this tutorial the test is there and the so everything is there then select this one then and all the elements select them then take it back up here take it back then after that one then so the next one then we are going to select the burger and the shadow so make sure that you select all the shadow then having select all the shadow and the other ones then use your arrow key then to bring it down or you can use your mouse hold your shift key then while you bring it down something like this so having done this one i think now we have a space we have a space then so this is the test i forgot so ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool so while you select your test tool then i'm going to make a copy of this test here then ctrl plus j to duplicate it then i'm going to drag it at the top here then bring it down over here all right then select your test to highlight it then ctrl plus v to paste now increase the size like this then i'm going to remove this layer style clear it and uh, change the color to red so that is it thank you so much all right thank you so much for following if you like this video please kindly subscribe turn on the notification bell then so that you will not miss any of my flyer and other other things please kindly please and please follow my membership channel so that anytime i'm going to offer a free psd to my members then you will be among those that i'm going to offer a free psd to them and another another things again if you want to order any flyer please there is a link in my description so you can go to my fiber account and uh, order any of your flyer through the fiber account if you want to create a fiber account then there is a link there also provided for those who want to create a fiber account then use the link to create your fiber account then thank you so much for following i really appreciate then if you like this video don't forget to share like it and then subscribe